I grew up in a small town in California, Palmdale, California. I got into football at a very young age. Originally, uh, my first sport that I played was, was baseball, and eventually I just transitioned over to football, I guess. I just like to hit people a whole lot more because it's a lot more fun, a lot more action. I just remember uh, Dirk Cutter and Mark Helfrich talking a lot about him, that we got this really great receiver out of Palmdale. He has a chance to play as a true freshman and all this and that. You know, and, and I was roommates with Terrell Suggs my freshman year, so I, I knew what a true freshman looked like when they were ready to play. So I didn't have that high of expectation. Then when I had a chance to work with him uh, mentally, he was also very sharp. For myself, it was just learning from the guys that, that came before me, the, uh, the Sean McDonald's, the uh, Skyler Fultons, the uh, Justin Taplin's, the uh, John Jefferson, who's, a, who's another all-time great. I realized he was gonna be uh, a really good player kind of after I saw him practice because that really tells you the type of person that you're dealing with. Somebody that learned the offense very quickly. Mentally sharp, physically very gifted, but then his work ethic, uh, nobody worked harder than Derek. You know, records records are great, but uh, you know, obviously records are made to uh, be broken and I was fortunate enough to uh, break a few records. I actually break a lot of records while I was here, which, which was awesome. And uh, till this day, you know, when I look at that stat book, just to know that I still hold most of the records, receiving records for ASU is just awesome. And I'm very thankful for that. Sun Devil Stadium is, is the, the best stadium hands down uh, in college, in the NFL that, that, that I've been in. I've been in, in tons of stadiums and I haven't seen, seen nothing like it. Just, you know, just for myself when at that time it wasn't called the, uh, the, the the Tillman Tunnel, but you know, it was just just awesome just coming through there. You know, it was just just I just had a good time just knowing that you know when when you come through that tunnel, you get those those goosebumps just getting ready to you know run out, and you got 60, 70, thousand fans just cheering for you, getting ready for the game, and there's no feeling like it. I went went off to the NFL. I played uh, nine years so far. I'm hoping that I can get uh, one more year in, but if not, you know, it's been a great ride playing football. I know I can still play, still can run, still can catch, so that's all still there. But uh, you know, NFL was fun, but it doesn't doesn't last for long. And I'm th thankful for my time that I put in and the, the all of time that I put in actually playing football. You know, I've been playing football since I was, what, maybe nine, 10 years old. So it's been a long time. I coach a lot of uh, high school wide receivers. So, you know, since I know my time is coming to an end at, at playing football, I'm really trying to show the younger kids, you know, my craft and really trying to pass that on and really show these kids and, and let them know that that football is, is it's a tough game, but it's also a smart game, and, and I just want to show them the basics of football. And, and you know, for the guys that I work with, they're all uh, guys that really compete. They, they, they work hard. They're some of the top wide receivers in California, and, and I'm just trying to show them that, that, you know, if you put in that hard work and that effort, you know, your dreams can come true, and, and hopefully that'll happen for those kids like it's happened for myself. Nothing in life is going to be given to you. You're going to have to work hard for it. You're going to have to put in that time, put in that effort. You know, sometimes it's just not all about football. There is there is other things in life that you can do. You know, obviously, uh, you definitely want to be educated, and I, I really try to preach that to them because not everybody can play football, not everybody can play baseball, basketball, or any other sport. You just you gotta, you know, when you when you come to college, you gotta be a student first, then an athlete, and that's what I really try to preach to them. And I, I hope a lot of guys that I talk to they really understand that, and uh, and I'm just looking forward to those guys doing great things once they get older.